Good morning, Broadhead. These are your morning announcements. The Cardinal Plaza School Store will be open next week on Wednesday, September 26th. It will be open every Wednesday and Friday during resource. It offers a variety of snacks like and clothing, school supplies, and of course, your scotcher. We are starting a GSA club here at the high school. There will be a short informational meeting this Wednesday, September 19th in the art room during resource. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Tibby, and I hope to see you there. The FFA is taking a field trip to the World Dairy Expo on Tuesday, October 2nd. They will go to the expo in the morning and tour Larson Acres in the afternoon. World Dairy Expo permission slips are due this Tuesday, so get them in. If you haven't got one, they're on the bulletin board outside Ms. Metcalf's room. Your books for this year are already half gone. If you are interested in ordering a book, please do so as soon as possible. Your books are $45 until October 1st. After that, prices will go up to $50. Money and order forms can be brought to Miss Tibby. School activities for homecoming week. Monday, four corners during fourth hour. Tuesday, town ball first hour. Wednesday, dodgeball during third hour. Thursday, musical chairs second hour. And Friday, it's your tailgate from sixth to eighth hour. Monday for dress up days is Scrabble, so today, obviously. Tuesday is Twister, what the heck are you wearing? Wednesday is Uno, class colors. Seniors are white, juniors are pink, sophomores are yellow, and freshmen is Carolina Blue. Thursday is Go Fish, and that's your tacky tourist day. And Friday is the Battleship, and that's the school spirit. The homecoming dance will take place on Saturday, September 22nd from 8 to 11 p.m. Tickets will be sold at the door, $8 per person or $15 per couple. If you're bringing a date, please bring your date permission slip and they are in the office. Student Council is looking for cornhole beanbag toss boards for the homecoming tailgate this Friday. Boards can be dropped off in Ms. Greedebex. And these have been your morning announcements. Town ball is another version of kickball for older students. Divide the group into two teams and place four cones around the area where each base would be located. Students must know the nine fielding positions before playing. Have the kicking team line up in boy-girl order. The kicking team is allowed to have five runners on each base at a time. If there are more than five runners on a base, then the number of runners over five must advance to the next base. If a runner takes one step towards the next base, then he or she must attempt to advance to the next base. The other runners can stay on the previous base. Fielders can get runners out by pegging them below the shoulders while running between bases or catching fly balls that are kicked. There are no force outs. Switch the fielders and runners after three outs and be sure students remember their kicking order between innings. There are many runs scored due to the number of runners on base at a time. After crossing home plate, runners may advance back to first base and attempt to score more runs. Morning announcements. Morning announcements. Oh yeah. Wait for the camera. This is the announcements. Hello everyone, my name is Galen Combs. I am the State FFA Officer for Section 5, so it would be this area of the state. And I am here at Broadhead High School today to work with the agriculture students to learn a little bit more about FFA and leadership in the classroom. We'll be going to 25 schools this fall, working with agriculture students from Dane County, Greene County, and Rock County to learn a little bit more about how we can become involved in leadership and in FFA. <laughs> My favorite part about visiting different schools would be all of the unique opportunities that each school has. I came from a school that graduated with a class of 400 people, and so coming to smaller schools is a unique opportunity to see how each school can use their resources to have all of their students shine. And so I think it's incredible to see all the different unique opportunities that each school brings. Today for your lunch is a hamburger on a wheat grain bun with a cheese slice, grapes and peaches, corn on the cob and broccoli, and your choice of milk.